All right, folks, we've got some bracking news here. This is huge. This comes from a Survey USA poll. By the way, in every national poll, Bernie Sanders is winning by multiple points. All right, so he's basically just completely demolishing at this point. But this poll is crucial. All right, it has Bernie at 29, Bloomberg and Biden both at 18, Buttigieg at 12, and then it goes on with other people who are irrelevant. But this is the crucial piece. Obviously, Bernie Sanders demolishing by 11 points is huge, right? Winning by double digits is massive. But this is the cru most crucial part. And so this breaks it down amongst uh, demographics, amongst race. And so among black folks, Bernie Sanders is leading at the top with 31%. Joe Biden's at 28%. Bloomberg's at 21%. And then the irrelevant candidates are after that. Also Hispanics, he's demolishing. Not even close. Bernie at 41. Biden at 16, the next closest. Among white folks, Bernie's at 24, Bloomberg's at 19. So he's clearly the one to unite us, obviously, because he's leading amongst every demographic group. But this is crucial because this is the first poll that I've seen that actually has Bernie Sanders leading amongst African-American voters. And so this is definitely very realistic. And so what's happened is, it's funny, is Michael Bloomberg's entire campaign was basically to come in to destroy Bernie Sanders. But he's actually the greatest gift to the Bernie campaign. And that's why I'm telling people... I mean, assuming, you know, hopefully I, I, I'm just praying that it, we don't live in a political system where Bloomberg would actually win and get elected. Assuming that doesn't happen, um, I'm very hopeful that he's here just as a spoiler, you know, an unintentional spoiler. Because all of that 21% that he got, he took from Joe Biden because Joe Biden was at like 50 plus percent. And so he just totally ate that up. A lot of those old, uh, the older black folks are voting for him. And so him splitting it basically takes away all of Joe Biden's lead and all of his momentum. And so the more momentum you take away from Joe Biden, the worse he performs overall. And that's the demise of his campaign, just like that with the snap of a finger. And then Bernie also seems to have gained, you know, somewhere between five and like 10 points, depending on which poll you look at. Like Quinnipiac had him at 19. I believe his morning console had him at 25. So polls have him at different areas, but... This is really huge, and so the whole Bernie bro thing needs to die, obviously, if it hasn't already. Um, you know, he is the most diverse coalition, as you guys see. Uh, he's got the most support amongst each group, especially, man, he is really, truly demolishing with Hispanic voters. Um, and that's going to help him a lot in Nevada. So I'm very, very curious as to what's going to happen in that uh, Nevada caucus. Definitely very, very interested. Extremely interested, for sure. But this is huge news, folks, and again, I want to reiterate to you guys... Bernie Sanders is demolishing in every poll that drops. He's winning every single poll that drops. Uh, he's barely losing any of them. California polls, he's demolishing. National polls, he's... It's hard now. It's honestly hard to even find a poll where he's not winning now. That's, like... That's how crazy this is.